I'm Mel Varner, and you're watching Couch Sessions TV. Perfect. Okay. Cool. Awesome. Awesome. <laughs> I grew up like always in the studio, in a rehearsal space, or waiting for my parents to come back from tour. And um, when I really, I say I was like nine or 10 when I really started watching my dad as a producer. And also he had his own, he had his own label, like his own music group thing. So um, he had a studio and he had artists and I was always just watching, helping here and there. Whether it was putting stickers for street team or whatever, I was just around and um I think that I think I don't necessarily think that's what made me want to do music um because my parents kind of were like do whatever you want to do like they didn't they didn't try to push me in any direction um I just really wanted to do it I think I would have wanted to do it even if that wasn't the case I was just talking about this before. I play four instruments, but the whole flute thing is like so blown out of <laughs> At six, at two, she was playing the upright bass. <laughs> you know, it's like, I played flute in like elementary band and it was, you know, I, <laughs> I don't know. Um, but now I play piano, guitar, bass, drums. I'm always trying to add new instruments and hone them those so piano i did train as a kid um guitar self-taught i had like one or two lessons and then i took it from there um drums that's kind of like a communal thing like everybody teaches me something here and there in rehearsals i never let anyone else like get to work because i'm always going to the drums um, but I kind of just pick up instruments, knowing theory a little bit, I'm able to just kind of adapt to whatever instrument. So I actually uh -oh. failed theory. Uh -oh. um, <laughs> I did. And like anytime I'm teaching a, a musician, when I say theory, I mean, I know, what's it? There's like perfect pitch and relative pitch. I know the notes in relation somehow, but I can't explain it. So like if a guitar player is like, what chord is that? I'm like, I don't know, I just made it up. Like I'll make a chord with the six strings. Like, okay, that's a third, that's a fourth. And I don't know what it technically is, but I just know how it sounds. Exactly, and that's what I wanted to clarify. It's not like I've been in this, like I've been in all these amazing programs, but not in the sense of like those kids that are bred to do something and they're like geniuses at it and they have all this intense stuff. It was like, hey, you wanna do musical theater on the weekends? Yeah, sure. Mom takes me to AGC, the theater school. Or like I went to performing arts high school. It was competitive, but it wasn't like, oh my God, you know? So even Clive, even in school, I feel like I got so much more life experience and life knowledge than actual, like, <laughs> oh, I, I don't know if I should say this. Um, I did also win most likely to fall asleep in class. <laughs> People don't know that. But, um, so I wasn't the most studious. Uh, yes, and that's what I'm saying. I won those two. I won most likely to win a Grammy, most likely to get signed, but I think it was freshman year or sophomore year I won most likely to fall in the class. The qualities that I look for in music, I think what first comes to mind is honesty. I I can tell. Like I I either believe it or I don't and like certain singers and and musicians and artists just deliver that you know um but i'm sorry what was the question again <laughs> they allow me to basically borrow like there's all this music out there there's nothing new under the sun i mean everything is is uh reinvented and i think that's something that i happen to be good at is is taking inspiration from 
classic music or old school or doo-wop or whatever it is, not so much doo-wop, but um, from all these different places and, and making it current and making it my own. Putting my twist on something that's already been done, you know? The song itself, I was explaining to someone earlier that I kind of, it was a, it was a challenge for me. I was like, how can I put the most clever lines together in this song? More so than, I only want to give it to the, it wasn't a literal me saying that I want to do that, but it, more than the Adidas line and all these little lines that I was just challenging myself to, to come up with some, some hot lyrics. Um, Foster the People, Pumped Up Kicks. I would say Frank Ocean, but I'm kind of, move, I love Frank Ocean. But there's, I like B major, B major. I don't know how to pronounce it. He has a song called Just a Feeling. I like that song. Um, and I don't know. Will you edit this down so it doesn't take five hours for me to say it? Um, oh, oh, this song uh, from CeeLo's album called not old fashioned. Um, it's called "No One's Gonna Love You." Cool. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. That's a song. Cool. cool. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Well, Thank you. it's been a pleasure talking with you. You too. I uh, wish you well. Thank uh, you. Thank you.